Hi everybody and welcome back to some more F1 2019 here on this channel. This is part number 11 of my career walkthrough. Now before we jump into today's episode which is the British Grand Prix. My home Grand Prix, really looking forward to this. We've got this checkpoint challenge to do around Monza. So let's get straight into this and it's in the Ferrari F2004. One of my favourite cars. Welcome to today's special invitational event, which should be a very impressive show. Among the drivers are two very iconic figures that will be showing off the skills that made them so famous. And I'm certain we'll see some of the rivalry that they're famous for. So let's get started. Right, let's jump straight into this challenge in the awesome Ferrari F2004 around Monza and let's see if we can beat the distance set by our teammates. I absolutely love this car, so this is going to be fantastic, so let's get straight into it. Just listen to the sound of that Ferrari. Now, I absolutely love this car on a set of calls, so, and I've actually done quite a few like time trials and races in this car around this circuit, so it'll be interesting to see the difference. And the target distance is 12, and I think Grosjean's distance was just under that. So if we can get the target distance, we should be able to complete the challenge. And uh, yeah, we're doing really well in the rivalry. We seem to be beating both our rivals at the moment, uh, but uh, maybe we can change that. Maybe we can set a harder rival. I don't know if you can change that mid-season. We'll have to have a look. But let's see if we can complete this challenge first. Now this car doesn't have as much downforce as some of the newer F1 cars. We're going to have to take it. A little bit gentle on this first lap, and then hopefully we can start pushing it. Sliding around a bit into that section. Slide down, get it turned in. It does sound good, I must admit. I would love to do a season in one of these cars. I really, really would. Every time I've jumped in one, in one of the older cars on this game, it's just been an absolute amazing experience. Just turn it nicely through there. Slide it a bit onto the kerb. <laughs> got through there in the end but uh, today's um, episode is going to be fantastic going to Silverstone my home Grand Prix can we actually match Lewis Hamilton in Britain around Silverstone I don't think it's possible because I don't think our car's up to that level but you never know and I got a podium in the last episode and I was at the back of the grid so I'm going to push as hard as I can but we really need a decent qualifying so that is what I'm going to really concentrate on in today's episode. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it will come out um, and we will be able to get at least uh, on the second row of the grid. That is my target. So far, we're managing to keep up the pace. This is actually a very comfortable drive. This car is so good. I thought the lack of downfalls would really make it difficult, but I just feel like uh, this car, you can push it to the edge and you still have control. Again, just trying to take as much as I can through those corners. Not far off the target distance. I think another half a lap and we'll be very close. Let's see if we just push it a little bit faster through this section. I think we're a bit slow through here last time. And get it turned in, try and stay off the curb. And that was a little bit better. We're down to 30 seconds, so we're going to get close, but we're getting also close to the target. Rojon just fell short. So let's just try and hold it. It's not too bad. And we're still managing to keep that time up. But uh, we've hit. Oh, we've hit the target, so we have beaten our teammates. But we've still got some time left, so let's see if we can just push and get a little bit further. Let's see if we can get maybe 12, 13, sorry. And yes, we're going to get 13. Or maybe we can get 14. We'll get to the next checkpoint. Should be able to slow down, get it turned in. I think we're going to hit 14. Yes, we are. We're going to. This is going well. We're absolutely smashing this target distance. But we're running out of time now. But the, uh, the checkpoints keep moving, they're not in the same place. So, are we going to be able to hit the next one? It's going to be very, very tight. Four, three, and oh, there you go. We managed to hit the target. But we're 
We're running out of time now. Can we hit the next one? Don't think we're going to. It's right up the top of this section on the corner. No, I don't think we're going to hit it. And, oh, there you go. Just fell short. But what an effort that was. Absolutely smashed our teammates' time and distance. There you go. 16.54 and he only got 11.59. Anyway, let's get straight into today's race. So here we go. Right, so qualifying is going to be in the wet. And I'm actually pleased about that. We might be a little bit quicker in the wet than we are in the dry. So this may give us a chance to get a good position. So let's get straight into the qualifying. Here we are then, waiting for the green lights to get qualifying underway for the British Grand Prix. With the weather as it is today, Anthony Davidson, we have, to some extent, to throw the form book out of the window. Who do you see having the advantage on this slippery, unpredictable track surface? The trouble is, Crofty, they need to be thinking about the race tomorrow. You don't want to go jacking up the ride heights and piling on a few points of extra downforce that you're not going to want in the Grand Prix itself. The Parc Ferme regulations mean that you have to make that choice. The best thing the drivers can do is adapt with the tools they have available in the cockpit. Moving the brake bias forward will help stop the rear end slipping out under braking, and opening up the differential can really help tame the oversteer on corner exit. The drivers that can make best use of these techniques will have the best chance for success here today. Well, let's see if we can push as hard as we can. We just need to stay out of the puddles. That is where we're losing a lot of grip and the car is all over the place. Let's just try and push it as much as we can. Be good on the brakes, slow it down. And oh, it's sliding. Oh, loads of oversteer there as well. Wow, almost lost the front. And that is such a tricky section. And on the curbs, be careful. We don't accelerate too hard. We don't want to spin up. Oh, my Lord, this is not easy. I'm trying to push as much as I can, but it's not easy. So Lewis Hamilton is sitting top at the moment, but that is no surprise. He's going to want to win his home GP. Can we actually make it into a battle of the Brits? But first, we need a decent lap. Because we know we're not very good and not very fast off the grid. We've noticed that in quite a few races. It's one area that we need to focus on. We need a little bit more power. But uh, I'm hoping the car doesn't fail on us today. We still need to look at a few engine parts maybe in the next race. I think something will go eventually. And it's just going to be one of those things that we're going to have to keep on changing parts all the way through the season and taking penalties. We've got no choice. We just don't have the durability on this car at the moment. Right, let's just try and get a little bit tighter into this corner. It's not too bad. Are we going to be able to get a little bit of a better time than we had in the practice session where we did struggle quite a bit? And that's not too bad through there. That was nicely done to the line what sort of time we're going to get here and oh up to p3 oh but is it going to stay there i'm not quite sure but we'll keep on going right so we're going to go again we've just put a new set of tires on let's see if we can just push a little bit harder i want to try and get pole position if we can because we know we're not going to have the speed to get off the grid and to, co to compete with bottas and hamilton so if we can get pole that would be amazing and tight. We're up on our time already, which is good. It's not too bad. Onto the curb a little bit. But we're starting to get used to these wet conditions, which is good, but the race is going to be dry, so it's going to be a whole different experience, and that is the thing. So we... I wasn't sure what to go uh, with the setup. I've just gone with a balanced... And we have got a purple sector, so we're doing really well. That's not too bad through there, but I think uh, sector two, we did drop a bit of time on the last lap. Let's see if we can just hold it through here. Again, just trying to carry as much speed as I can through there. And we're 
almost a second up on our time. This is going really well. But is Hamilton going to put in another lap? If he sees me out, he might be straight out to make sure that I don't beat his time. And that was nicely done through there. That should be, yes, a purple second sector. Can we get a, all three purple sectors? Hold it as much as we can through here. Slide it a little bit. And this last chicane is a nightmare. So let's just try and slow it down. We're a little bit wider than I would have liked. And again, but that is not too bad as long as we don't spin it up on the last turn. Oh, grabbed a little bit of curve to the line. Oh, we didn't get a purple sector, but we've got the fastest lap. Are we actually going to get pole position? This is insane. And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Carlson, Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Unbelievable. I've actually got pole position ahead of Lewis Hamilton. This is going to be an insane race, and it's in the dry as well. I'm going to have to up my level. Let's get straight to this. So here we go. We're right back where it all began. The very first World Championship Grand Prix was held here at Silverstone in 1950, with Giuseppe Farina taking the top step of an all Alfa Romeo podium. He earned nine championship points that day on his way to the inaugural title. His winning total at the season's end, just 30 points. My, how times have changed. So let's see who can reach the top step of the modern podium today. With good opportunities to overtake at the end of the Wellington and Hangar Straits, there's a lot of potential for close action around the 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit. With 18 corners and average lap speeds of around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the longest and quickest circuits on the calendar. Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Now, can I get your take on Max Verstappen? Looks like they've got a tough race in store today as grid penalties from changing power unit components has forced them further down the field. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromise start. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Carlson lines up on pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Sebastian Vettel, and Gasly, Norris, Ricardo, Butler, and Carlos Sainz, Perez, Faber, Roman Grosjean, and Russell. Verstappen, Albon, Robert Kubica and Daniel Kvyat. Jovanadze and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Well to put it on pole, but we've still got work to do. Try to cover the inside line off. Right, you heard what he said, we've got to try and hold it into that first turn, so let's stick it into the rich mix and see if we can get a good start. So there we go, five red lights, it's all go around Silverstone for our home Grand Prix. Is Lewis Hamilton going to beat us off the mark? He's coming up the inside, that Mercedes is so quick off the mark, but we've managed just to hold him off into the first corner. Wow, we've actually done it. Now we've got to try and settle into a rhythm. We're in the rich mix, we need to put in a decent couple of laps to try and pull away. It's not going to be easy. The only practice we've really had round here here was in the wet so we're not sure how quick we're going to be in the dry against the Mercedes which is very OP but I'm going to try my best we've got to be so defensive but we've also got Bottas behind Hamilton so the two Mercedes are going to be literally right up my gearbox for the first couple of laps we've got to be good with our pitch strategy as well and this hasn't been a bad start these softs don't actually feel that great at the moment but it takes time to get the heat in the tyres and hopefully we can start settling into a rhythm and we've also got looking at the trap map we've got to the Ferraris behind the Mercedes we've got a lot of fast cars behind us and this hasn't been a bad start let's see if we can just hold it through there be careful this is where our car really lacks we don't have the downforce to go through there at a really fast pace and this is where they're going to catch us up and they're not far behind we've got oh, a 0.6 lead this is where they're going to gain us they're going to drag us down the straight 
There's so many areas where they can overtake it again. Just lacking downfall through there at the moment. And we've got to be careful. I don't want to make any mistakes. The fact we got pole position was unreal as we take a nice tight line through there. That felt pretty good. And we go into the second lap. So that is the first lap out the way. Now we need to just push a little bit more on this lap. Now we've got heat in the tyres just to just extend a bit more of the lead. Let's just try and keep it steady. Slow it down. This is where we're going to lack a bit of time. The Mercedes is definitely going to be quicker through those slow turns. And onto the kerb. Just trying to hold it. Oh my God. Didn't feel that great. And there we go. Lewis Hamilton as he's going to go down the inside. And he's going to take first place. Let's just try and hold it on the outside around the turn. Can we keep the inside line? Yes, we can. Right onto the kerb. Wow, what a defensive move that was. Without contact, we've managed to keep the lead. But how long are we going to be able to do these sort of manoeuvres? And we've got Bottas right behind him as well. Is he going to try and overtake us in this turn as well? He's coming around the outside, holding that inside line. This is insane. A battle of the Brits around Silverstone. And are we going to be able to hold him off? He's going to come down the inside again. Wow! He's really trying to get past me. And I don't want to make any mistakes. Just keep it nice and tight through there. And that was okay. But this is where we're going to lose a lot of time. They're going to drag us on this straight again. And when DRS is on... Oh! Norris is out of the race. We've got one person that's already out of the race. So that is... That's unfortunate by him. Because he probably really want to do well around Silverstone. Right, let's just try and keep it nice and tight through there. Now we're back on the standard mix. This is where we're going to really struggle to keep Hamilton off our back. And Bottas... Oh, who's, oh Gasly has just put in the fastest lap so far. But DRS is now enabled. This is where it's going to get really difficult. And right onto the curve there. These tyres feel really poor already. I'm struggling for grip. And uh, we should have gone with a different setup. This balance setup does not feel very good in the dry. And here comes Hamilton. I'm going to hold the inside, force him on the outside. Let's try and play defensive. That's all we can do. And keep that nice, tight inside line. And again, we've managed to just hold off Hamilton. But it's not going to work every single time. He's going to make... You know the, how clever the AI are on this game. He's going to make a move which will stick. I've just got to be very careful. We don't make contact. I don't want to lose completely in this race. If I finish top 10, that is good. Considering how poor our car has been recently. And that's not too bad through there. Just trying to hold it as much as we can. But we do lack a lot of downfalls through there. And this is where the Mercedes are going to start closing in again. And here they come. But they're not going to get us before this turn, luckily. We really need to put in a decent lap ourselves. So we put in, what, a 133.6. But Gasly has the fastest lap at the moment. And that's not a bad turn there. And... Oh, we've gone a little bit quicker. Oh, Sebastian Vettel, a 132. So they're all starting to really put the hammer down now. They're really going fast as possible. It's really good conditions. And just trying to hold that nicely into that inside. Just trying to pull away, but I just don't seem to have the power. But at the moment, we're on lap four and we're still in the lead, so I can't complain. Again, just trying to keep it nice and tight through there. We seem to be quite good through there. Just a bit of a wider line, swing it round. And so these tyres are starting to go off now. They really don't feel that great. So we've got to push as hard as we can. I think, I'm not sure what lap I've um, set it to go in. I did change it. And there comes Hamilton again. We've got right behind me then. But he knows overtaking there is a very big risk. But that won't stop him though. Hold it through there. That was nicely done. Oh, that felt a little bit better. Just taking... Just, I'm backing off a little bit. I am taking my foot off the accelerator through there just to make sure that I can just hold the speed and sort of coast through that section. And again, that wasn't too bad. This is a really good lap for us. And this is what we need. It's not too bad again. 
that is definitely our fastest lap. Oh, we've hit a 132.7, so we have just set the fastest lap of the race. That was an awesome lap, and that's what we need. But can we extend our gap between us and Hamilton? That is the most important thing. And we seem to lose a lot of time through there. We're not very quick through those slow corners, but we've still got a tiny gap between us and Hamilton, and that will be what we need to keep before we go in and pit. Just try to keep it as tight through there as possible. But uh, these tyres are really struggling now. I think it's it's time to go in very soon. Just try and push it through these corners. Wow. Didn't feel very good through there. Of the accelerator through there. Oh, that was nicely done. We seem to, we've nailed it through there again. Again, we've managed to just hold it nice through there. Yeah, probably not as quick okay, as the others, but we have lap. just, oh, we've actually, that was our fastest uh, sector through there, so that was not bad. Slightly better. And now it's time to pit. So that worked out okay. We pushed as hard as we could, and we've managed to get to the pit with a little bit of a lead so can we come out and just keep up this pace on the mediums it's not going to be easy but uh, this is where the strategies come in I mean I'm not sure how many more laps Hamilton and Bottas uh, Sebastian Vettel and all the others are going to go in they may do another two laps or so on the softs but I didn't think that was a very good idea they were really going off but we will see if those tactics work Come out right at the back. Up to speed so, now. Do you know Let's what? That we've got to be tires. so careful um, now we're behind a lot of cars that we don't have any collisions with anyone else. We don't want to drop too much time, but we can use the DRS, which is good. So if we can just catch up with this groove in front of us, we can push as hard as we can, and maybe we can really put in some decent times until we find out where we end up. Right, so we've really caught up with this group now. We're right behind Raikkonen and Giovinazzi, but we've got to be so careful of how we overtake these guys because we know they're slower than us, but if we make contact and spin out, I will be absolutely distraught. We don't know where we're going to end up. Once Hamilton pits, are we still going to be in the league? Because we know that he's putting in some decent times now. And we are being held up a little, so let's see if we can take an inside down this section. Can we take this position? No, that would have been a risk. These cars are so close together. Let's see if we can get a good run down the inside. Could be good on the brakes. Can we take Raikkonen? Oh, be careful. Oh, that was clean. No contact in behind Gio Vinazzi. And oh, be careful. Just turned in a little bit too soon there. That could have been a mistake. Wow, be careful. I'm really trying to push as hard as I can. And we are starting to catch these guys again. Can we get past Gio Vinazzi? Take an inside. Oh, Will Smoke. Oh, he slammed on the brakes then. And he almost completely lost it in that turn. But we've taken advantage. But wow, he really did slam the brakes on them. Right, so we're right behind Album now. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see some of the other cars pit soon because most of these other cars are still on the softs and we're on the mediums. But the only thing that I was thinking, if we keep on this pace, are we going to wear these mediums out before the end of the race? That could be a major issue. I thought I could get past Album there, but just try and hold that inside line. Can we go down the inside now? I think it may be worth a risk in the inside. A little bit of contact there and we've managed to take the place so we're up into p16 and we've got three more cars to try and get past but we will see some of these guys pit soon so i'm not sure whether it'll be on this lap but they must be getting to uh the end of the life of their softs because i think they're any what they were any any good for nine laps i think right, can we take an inside line Ooh, we to back out of there just keep us as steady. Are these guys going to pit? Oh, two of them have gone into the pits. And we're in behind Russell. So we should take a few places as we go past the pits. And uh, I'm not sure where Hamilton and uh, Bottas are. Are they in the pits? And we've taken a few places. 
And yes, Hamilton was in the pits. There you go, you can see he is now in P10. So he was just coming out of the pits as we've gone past. So we've managed to come out in front of him, which is absolutely amazing. We're on lap nine as well. Oh, we are in such a good position, but it's just about managing these tyres. We need to get past Russell. Let's go on the outside. We are so much quicker than him because he's still on those worn tyres. And our teammate in front of us has still not come in as well. He's really pushed those tyres to the limit. So let's see if we can catch up. Lewis Hamilton is just going to go straight past Russell as well, and he's going to be right on it. So once he gets those tyres up to temperature, we're going to be in big trouble. So we need to make sure we don't make any mistakes. We keep up the pressure. We need to keep these tyres in good condition. Let's just try to take as much as we can. Hamilton is already past Russell. We don't want him to get in the DRS. What is the gap at the moment? It literally is squeaky bum time. Hamilton is really pushing hard. It's not going to be long until he's right behind me in the DRS zone and I'm not going to be able to hold him off. So there goes my teammate into the pits and we're going to go straight into the lead of the GP. Hold it as much as I can through there. And he is right behind us. We're so slow in, in the slow corners. And here we go. Hamilton's going to try and make a pass in the inside. Oh, just managed to close him down. This is going to be a fight to the end. Three laps to go. Are we actually going to be able to hold him off for three laps? I'm not sure if that's possible, but I'm going to try my best. Two Mercedes behind us. We've got into this position. It'd be such a shame to lose it now, but this is motor racing. It's, it's, you can only do what you can do. The machine and the driver. If you can get both right, then you're on for a winner but one has got to give is it the machine or is it going to be me am i going to make a mistake trying to hold it nice and tight into that turn and we're just managing just to keep them two at bay i'd rather if them two would have a massive barrel i'm surprised we still got the fastest lap because i know hamilton has really gained loads on me since he's come out of the pits three laps of fuel remaining. just trying to keep it steady through here we need to take as much as we can through there but i think in the last couple of laps we're going to see a little bit of grip go as we did through there. Wow, really struggled through there. And Hamilton is hes in my slipstream and he's got DRS. And there we go. We can't hold him off. And we're into P2. But we've just got to try and stay with him as long as we can. And maybe we're getting an opportunity to get past him as well. Is he going to slow it down? Go on the inside. Let's go for it. Oh, we go touch wheels into that turn. Oh, we're going to get a warning for that. No, we're not going to get a warning. That's a fair pass, so we're past. But that's not going to stop Lewis Hamilton. He's going to come back at me again. And we go into lap 12. Two laps to go. The battle of the Brits round Silverstone. Who's going to come out on top? It's going to be so tight. And Bottas is not far away as well. He's probably hoping for us two to have a right moment. And then he takes the lead. And just trying to hold it nice and tight through there. Now we're going to have to play defensive. That let them go on the outside. Let's keep that inside line and there goes Hamilton hold the inside keep it tight onto the curb again keeping it tight force him on the outside is he going to come in the inside he is so quick through there it's unreal but we've managed to hold him off again and we're coming towards the end of lap 12 oh, we're going to be able to hold it for another lap this is insane we need to try and hold it as much as we can hopefully on the final lap when we stick it in rich mix we can really push for a decent lap time and hope that we don't make a mistake. Just trying to keep it as tight through there as possible. We really need a good lap here. That's not too bad. Right, it's all or nothing now. Are we going to be able to hold it for one more lap and become the champion round Silverstone and take the win? That's not too bad through there. Come on, we've got to make a really good corner here. Keep it all oh, right onto the curb. That's what we need keep it as tight through there as possible we don't want to give him any sniff of an overtake and we've just managed to pull away so it's 0.7 at the moment but he will gain a little bit of time on us in the slow turns so we know that we lack so much speed for these slow corners and that was nicely done actually again get it turned in that wasn't too bad just managing just to hold a 
little bit of a breathing space and we have we've got through there with a bit of a gap which is really surprised I thought they'd catch up through there but is it going to be enough right onto the curb through there these tyres are feeling a little bit less grippy just got to get into the end of this lap and we got through there okay but Hamilton and Bottas are not far behind are they going to push it to the extreme on the last sector got to make sure we don't muck it up through there and that was nicely done got to travel through this section that's just off the throttle through there and oh my god that was really sketchy through there those tyres really didn't feel very good but we've managed to get through there and we're coming to the final sector can we hold on here comes Hamilton oh this is going to be so so tight and that wasn't too bad come to the final chicane am I actually going to win my home GP keep it nice and tight final couple of corners and it looks like we're going to do it unbelievable our first win in our career and we take our home gp ahead of lewis hamilton Absolutely unbelievable what a game oh i am so chuffed let's get into the final results brilliant stuff from Haas today what a superb victory tell me Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today and the results speak for themselves. There aren't many teams you know, as they come out onto the podium now, who could do what Haas have managed to accomplish here. It's hard to believe just how competitive they've already become. An amazing victory. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Max Verstappen seemed to just effortlessly weave through the other drivers today without a care in the world. Can you actually believe I managed to win that? Lewis Hamilton had the fastest lap as well on that last lap. Un Unbelievable. This has been one of the best races I've had so far in this game. But let's check the standings. And uh, I will leave you a replay or the highlights anyway. And that will be the end of the episode. But yeah, this has been a fantastic episode today. Please smash the like button. Subscribe. Share the video. And don't forget to check out that online multiplayer league I'm doing with Neo Gaming as well. Oh, this was just brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you very, very soon.